What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another video on the Legion Go and we've got the first update of the new year here for 2024 from the Legion Go update uh, community post here that we always check out. So we're going to go over this, take a look at what kind of updates we're talking about coming into the new year and uh, yeah, see what Lenovo has in store for us. So let's go over this post a little bit and see what we've got. All right, and it says, going forward in terms of expectation management, I'll try to provide insight into what we're working on next rather than expected timelines for release of what we're working on as those are still shifting uh, based on a few factors. Uh, yeah, so that makes uh, sense. It is hard to give timelines on a lot of these things and you have to keep shifting them. And we saw some of that uh, in December. It's nice to know the roadmap of what's coming. And maybe as we get closer uh, to releases, they could put some dates or let us know a window as to when to expect it. But uh, I mean, I kind of get it. It is hard uh, to always nail down exactly when the updates are coming. But let's see what, we, what we're supposed to have coming here uh, in our next round of updates. So next BIOS update, uh, version 29. So it'll be based on version 28 and include everything uh, version 28 delivered. It'll add auto VRAM uh, to the UMA buffer selection. That's a good one. There's a lot of games that actually uh, won't run uh, if you can't select auto or less than one uh, gigabyte. So that'll be a good one. Optimization of custom fan table interface for future use by Legion Space. Uh, nothing user accessible at the moment. Okay, so some back end work because I know they're working to bring those fan uh, adjustments to uh, Legion Space in the future, which will be a welcome feature. Uh, added support for uh, charge limiting by Legion Space later. Not use Okay, so some more back end work for the uh, charging. Various security improvements and bug fixes. So that's for the BIOS. All right. Uh, so next up, we got next space update, tentatively 1026, uh, driver and BIOS update integration. Another great feature that would be welcome that uh, they've been talking about there. Add FPS limiter, toggle on, off, or lock frame rate. Another welcome feature I'm looking forward to. Uh, LTRT dead uh, zone settings. All right. Good one. Uh, custom fan curve settings, which goes along with this uh, optimization of the fan table, uh, uh, back end work up here, an option to restore joystick response curve and dead zone settings to default values, an option to turn off power uh, button LED. I know I've seen actually a lot of people comment uh, wanting that feature, so that's cool. Uh, add option to set the sleep duration of controllers. That I would definitely welcome. They definitely go to sleep way too fast uh, for me, and then you can't just turn them back on. You got to click them on. Uh, click them off. So uh, yeah, really look forward to that one. Uh, various bug fixes. And then it says, note, some of these may uh, not make it in time yet, uh, but they're working on them. All right. And then we've got future space updates targeted to include uh, charge limit uh, charge limit settings, either predefined values or user defined values, implementation specific still to be uh, determined. Uh, support for this added in version 29 BIOS will need space implementation as well. So that's when they're talking about adding those uh, charge limiters into the back end here for BIOS and then into uh, space because they're going to need those to work together. Key customization and mapping. Yeah, still a high priority to get better uh, customization of being able to pretty much map keys out any way you want using the shortcut button. So definitely would welcome that. And further LT and RT threshold adjustments. All right. And then let's check out the issue uh, resolution we have here. SD reader stuttering issues impacting some users on some games in some scenarios. Uh, special thanks to Ghostfellow, one of our beta testers, for helping troubleshoot and identifying the problems. Our R&D team is evaluating uh, an updated driver from Realtek and have been in contact with them on the issue uh, to troubleshoot. All right, so they're working on a new driver for the SD card reader. Uh, they provided some tools, which uh, will work with a few users to gain uh, gather some more data. All right. Uh, if you are experiencing any issues with the Genesis SD reader, please uh, let me know. Warranty upgrades uh, are now available for US and Canada users uh, through the support website. I actually saw those go live the other day. Um, <clears throat> maybe it was today, actually, when I was on my account. It said I was uh, eligible for upgrading warranty. So that's cool. Entering your serial number, blah, blah, blah. Uh, custom TDP, working with some users on diagnosis issues around uh, custom TDP settings in space and trying to get a handle on what's going on and what improvements to make. Um, I know I was having a lot of TDP issues in the beginning of the Legion Go. They wouldn't stick or they would uh, crash games. There was a ton of issues with it not running and running right. Now, since the past like version 28 BIOS, the newer GPU drivers and chipset drivers, everything up to date as of now, I haven't had really had any of those issues, luckily. It seems to me like everything does seem to be working in both handheld battery mode and plugged in for all my TDP, which is good because I was having a lot of issues. So 
hopefully anybody else that's still suffering with uh, issues with the TDP settings can get that fixed because that is a big deal uh, on the handhelds if you're having issues with the custom TDP. And that is pretty much what they have in here for these updates. So definitely looking forward to um, them continuing to improve Legion Space and the BIOS. Um, nothing in here about the next GPU uh, graphics driver. I know we just got the one in December, which is great, but it didn't quite catch us up. It doesn't get us all the way up to the newer AMD one that has like specific fixes for Avatar and some other things. So without side loading, there's nothing official out yet to kind of catch up more. So I would like to see them... Uh, Announce maybe in the next couple of weeks, you know, the future GPU driver that they're working on to catch us up a little bit uh, there uh, for what AMD has done for certain games recently. But other than that, looking like a pretty good update. Definitely some features in here I'm looking forward to. The sleep duration of the controllers, uh, definitely one. Custom fan curves, uh, the FPS limiter, all great stuff, especially for someone like me who likes to test these devices out. But um, yeah, we'll check all this out as it releases and as they continue to put up more post guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I actually think the Legion Go is continuing to age pretty well, and uh, it's definitely one of my go-to uh, handhelds. I really use it just about daily now uh, here. So, All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.